The Title of Speed project has taught us a lot of things, not just about how to develop a driver, but it's really taught us about genuinely pushing the envelope. You gotta get out there to really make something great. What's happening? I'm making a hobble holder. Sweet. When I started working here, I didn't realize that the factory started at 6 a.m. So I'd come in at 7.30 and I'd be the last guy there. So I'd have the farthest parking space from the building. God, that's cool. Andrew, how you doing, pal? I'd just walk in the very back door and walk all the way up to my office, which was in the front of the building. Danny, I met everybody every day. And it was the coolest way to get to know what's going on. To this day, I parked down the other end of the building. There's a lot of automation. There's some serious technology down there. But you can't get around just having good people, you know? In the fall of 2016, we launched our 917 driver. Out of the gate, the tour players loved it. JT wins five times with it that year, including a major. No reason to believe that we weren't anything but right on track. Turns out, we missed a little bit of a change that was going on in the marketplace. We were focused on all around performance, but wow, the players just seem to be very much focused on one number, ball speed. We heard it from more than one player, and in some cases, the feedback was very pointed. For a while, you know, I didn't really care much, and then it started to bother me a bit. I'd be teeing off on a hole, and all of a sudden, a guy with a different driver steps up, and they were gaining an advantage in distance. And that stung. A driver test for us is 35 golfers hitting every driver on the market. Titleist drivers just weren't among the leaders with ball speed. We started to realize that this next driver needs to be all about speed. We need ball speed, we need high launch, we need low spin. And that's where the Titleist Speed Project came from. We're at this meeting talking about some enhancements that we're gonna look at in the driver. Everyone, we would go, is it faster? Is it faster? The tour players want a faster driver. And so we sat down as a group and we we're like, what are we gonna do differently? At the time, we had all these constraints, like adjustability and what we're gonna do to help the fitting process. The governing bodies are very specific about what conforms to the rules of golf. And we always play by the rules. But yet within that, we need to clearly establish ourselves as having a better product. If we put more resources into outgoing ball speed and distance, what's possible? We could look at making it lighter, we can make it longer, we can look at loft accommodations. Those little things really could add up to significant gains with that first generation of TS but we need to prove it to the golfer. The rubber really met the road when we went down to visit Jordan in Dallas. He wanted to make sure that this brand is gonna help me play my best golf. So we took the tour truck to him. It's incumbent upon me as a coach to figure out if there is something better. We were in the process of testing other options. There were opportunities to dance with other drivers. Every head that's ever gone for more speed yeah. has been hard for me. Yeah. I've had to adjust something else. Out came the crew. JJ had a handful of drivers and some different shafts.
I admit there were some butterflies. This was a pivotal moment for the whole project. Were we off and running or back to the drawing board? 